In this video, we'll talk about the Motion Manager feature tree. The feature tree structure should look fairly standard to you when dealing with SOLIDWORKS parts and assemblies. When you're dealing with assembly motion, anytime you rotate the component in space, such as this, that motion is going to be recorded. So as you play back your animation, the entire part is going to rotate. By right clicking on this area, you see that Disable View Key Creation is depressed. That means that any changes we make to the orientation of the model in space relative to our viewpoint is not going to be recorded. That means we can move it around and then we can adjust components, do exploded views and things of that nature without having to worry about that original position rotating. If you turn this off, that allows you to use things like cameras. You can move the components around in the modeling environment and have that motion recorded. So this is a very handy feature and it's one that you need to be aware of before you ever start moving your components around. The next folder is Lights, Cameras, and Scene. And this is a folder that's going to have the location of all your lights, your cameras, and any scene illumination. So any changes that you want to make to cameras, camera positions, turning lights on and off, or moving lights will happen with these components. The next is going to be each of our parts. Any subfolders are also going to have locations of parts. When you expand these, you'll notice that you don't get a featured list of things that were used to create the component. Instead, you get Move, Explode, Appearance, and Mates. In this case, we have key points associated with each of these. We have a Move option, which means we can create a key point that moves the component in space at a certain time. We can also Explode. We can modify the appearance, such as change the color, make it turn transparent farther down the assembly, we can also do things like change the actual material appearance. If you're doing something like machining a component, you might want to make a certain face darker as the components are moving. And then we have a mates folder. This will list all the mates for that particular component in your assembly. The reason you have a mates folder is because we can animate our components based on mates. You can right click and you can suppress or unsuppress or delete from the motion study altogether. Or if you have mates that have distance dimensions, you can drive those within your animation. So those are some key factors and ways that you can modify and actually create motion within the Motion Manager feature tree.